My passion um, for international medicine began when I was a junior in college. Um, for one of the classes that we had to take, we were offered an opportunity to go to various lectures for extra credit, and one of the ones was called Practicing Medicine in Sub-Saharan Africa. So Sarah Smith, uh, her first encounter, or one of her first encounters, uh, was in Zambia in 2007, where she spent a couple of months living in a little tin shack with a nurse and a child, and uh, uh, she was, as she just said, she was the doctor that didn't exist, uh, and she was she worked on uh, organizing a vaccination campaign and a whole bunch of medical activities when she was a, a biobehavioral health undergraduate student at Penn State. Uh, following that, uh, she was one of the fa she was the founder of the Global Medical Brigades at Penn State, which is a student club that engages in all kinds of medical outreach activities. Uh, the medical brigades have now grown to a fairly large organization that hosts an annual conference. And uh, they actually this past year they had um, uh, 40 students down in Honduras and then in Panama uh, over the past spring break engaging in medical outreach activities. And uh, this can be traced back to some of the seminal work that Sarah did in setting up the organization at Penn State. Um, and finally, the way that I've known her most um, was over the last three years, as she um, kind of took the lead and helped start the Global Health Scholars Program uh, at the Hirsch College of Medicine. I wanted to create an opportunity for other medical students to go to Africa and just see how medicine is practiced there, because for me it really changed my view of medicine and um, just kind of broadened my sense of, you know, what it means to be a doctor. And here are three things that sets her apart. One is persistence. Second is um, Sarah is an outstanding mentor. And finally, you know, beyond a point, teaching and preaching goes only so far. At some point, you just have to get stuff done. You know, we take for granted here that, um, you know, you can just go to, call an ambulance and have them come pick you up and take you to the hospital and, you know, get checked over by a bunch of doctors. And there, you don't even necessarily have the opportunity to see a doctor. You may have to walk for miles and miles and you get to a clinic and you then have to sit outside in a line that takes 12 hours to get through only to get to the end of the line. and go see a nurse or a clinical officer and them tell you that they know what you have but they don't have the treatment for it because that shipment didn't come in. People there are happy and they don't have all the things that we have here but they're genuinely happy and there was just something about that that drew me in and made me want to go back. I think I, what I love about it the most was just how great of a need there was for um, medical personnel and how appreciative all the patients were of the little help that I could give them. And uh, it really just made me want to do that for the rest of my life.